All right, welcome to another edition of Roaming with the Titans. Personally, this is my favorite episode of the year because we're doing our first preview of the year with head coach Rick Vanderhoek. Coach, thanks for joining us. Derek, you're welcome. Coach, it's finally here. You got Stanford coming in, opening weekends. I mean, you've been through a lot of opening weekends, but do you still get excited? Oh, yeah. I'm, you know, when we got done yesterday with practice, I told the guys that the grinds of January are over, and now we get a prosper into February, March, April, May, and June, hopefully, and and just play some teams with some different colors and different names on the other side. You mentioned guys with different colors and different uniforms. I mean, it, it, it's got to be an exciting feeling considering ever since, you know, fall ball in October uh, and November, you, you've been playing each other. There's only so much you can learn by playing each other. Is that right? Yeah, we're definitely a 500 club right now because every time we win one, we lose one. And it's been that way, and so hopefully we can get over that 500 hump on uh, Friday night and this weekend by getting a series, and we'll see what happens. Now, a lot of people know uh, kind of your thoughts on the various preseason polls, uh, but obviously a lot of media outlets, coaches, think the Titans are going to be pretty good this year. What, what have you seen from this club, and how do you expect them to be? Um, I, I've seen a lot of good days, um, and I've seen some bad days, and, and that's – with what goes to a season and that's why you play a full season to be able to um, learn to overcome some things and we had some adversity on how we did things this weekend by changing our game Thursday to Friday and then we came back with an 8 a.m. Friday or Friday morning game um, which is um, something that we'll have to do somewhere along the line the way the weather goes and I thought they handled it well. Um, and then coming back yesterday with a beautiful day here in Fullerton and, and getting a good practice in yesterday. And, you know, we'll look forward to it tomorrow. You kind of look at this team, and it's, it's easy to get excited because you see the, the returners on the pitching side. You also see the returners, you know, in terms of leadership on the hitting side. Um, obviously, pitching's been this team's strength the last few years, but I think you said before you, you like the way this team's going to be able to hit this year as well. Yeah, I thought they swung the bats good this weekend. Uh, I, I thought just watching the at-bats, not getting hits, not doing this, but, you know, how the discipline with two strikes on not chasing pitches and, um, you know, how they move from first to third pretty well. Um, just the things that they do that are little parts of the game that you look at and, and take for granted, and I don't think they take that stuff for granted, and I think they've, um, they're eager to get out and play. Let's talk Stanford now. That's the opponent you guys have coming in. I mean, that's a heck of a way to start your regular season. Uh, it's a team you guys played last year going up to their place, uh, dropping two out of three. But over the years, this has been a pretty healthy rivalry between two Welsh, well-coached teams. Um, what, what do they like to do? And what's your game plan? Well, Stanford, they just come right at you. I mean, there's no uh, chess game involved in it. They're going to do what they're going to do, and we're going to do what we're going to do. And Last year, um, we ended up getting rained out Friday night and playing a double dip on Saturday and losing uh, both ends of that in both close games, and we didn't score many runs as they didn't. Um, and then we won on Sunday as we got out of there. Um, and, and normally it's been um, – the home team has usually won the series. Um, not very often. We haven't won a lot of games up on the farm, and I don't think they've won up a ton of games down here uh, at Goodwin Field. So we just um, we're excited. We're excited. They're supposed to be good. It's Coach Marquis's um, last season, so uh, I'm sure that his team's going to have a little extra motivation on what they do and how they play for him and. Um, I look forward to it. I think it's going to be fun. Well, you talk about another legendary coach, uh, this time on the Fullerton side of things. With Augie Garrido, he will be returning to Goodwin Field. The weekend should be fun. Uh, various giveaways, including a bobblehead, cup. Uh, he'll be in attendance. Uh, what has he meant for the Cal State Fullerton program? I know you know him very well. Well, he, he's met everything. Um, you know, th this wouldn't be here. Um, if he didn't come here a long time ago in the 70s, uh, if Neil Stunner wouldn't have brought him here, um, we wouldn't be sitting in this dugout and looking at this field, I don't think. Um, and just the, the culture of the program. Uh, each team every year has a different culture, um, but the program culture is very consistent on by what 
um, is expected and things that go on. And as I tell our guys, expectations are for everybody else, not for us. Um, and the pressure of everything that happens is not about what everybody's done before you, it's for you. Um, each team has a different culture and each team has a different legacy. It's just, you know, we get a start on what this one is and hopefully it's a good one, not a bad one. But um, no matter what goes on, uh, every guy that gets to play and suits up this weekend uh, becomes uh, a part of a giant fraternity at Cal State Fullerton, which we consider Titan Baseball. Fans, Titans open the season this Friday, 7 p.m. Goodwin Field against the Stanford Cardinal. Make sure you get out all weekend. You're not going to want to miss this series. Coach, thanks a lot for taking the time. Thanks, Derek.